good morning to my beloved lecturer my name is ananda muktisami and metric number is bo9181003131 okay my topic is condition monitoring and fault diagnosis of motor now i am going to talk about introduction the condition monitoring of critical machinery such as electrical motors as i think a high amount of attention in past years for diag detection and diagnostics is the process of uncovering errors in physical systems while attempting to identify the source of the problem condition monitoring implies the continued evaluation of the health equipments it is a major component of predictive maintenance the basic condition monitoring techniques is vibration analysis oil analysis thermal analysis and ultrasound analysis the benefits of condition monitoring or and fault diagnosis is prolong effective machine life achieve the overall system reliability minimize the maintenance cost prolong effective machine life and early detection of potentially catastrophic faults that may be very expensive to repair next is motor faults the major faults in motor is bearing faults stator faults and rotor faults first is bearing faults the interaction in the vibration signals influence the bearing fault features in fourier spectrum the low harmonics of the bearable frequencies are frequently not ob observable due to interaction of the bearing failure sig signal the sec spectral amplitude is distribution is modified second is stator faults stator defect commonly begin as short circuits between turns isolation deterioration leading in short circuits is the primary or principal cause of stator failures when a short circuit inter turn develops extremely high current flowing through the short spindle cause devastation of spread The last one is rotor faults. The rotor of the induction motor is subjected to very low voltage and much higher temperature compared to the stator winding. Therefore, most failure modes in the rotor is open or broken bar of the rotor. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Azmin bin Abdul Aziz and my matrix number is B09181014 and I'll be talking about the definitions. Talk about the definitions. The definition of machine condition monitoring and fault analysis for the motor, which is defined as to fill as technical activity in which selected physical parameter associated with machinery operation, which are observed for the purpose of determining machinery integrity. Once the integrity of the machine has been estimated, the information can be used for many different purposes. The ultimate goal in the regards to machine activities is to schedule what is needed and given time, which can result in optimum use of resources. However, failure do occurs. In many instances, these failures are not only caused. but may be dangerous to personal and environment in these cases the machine that being monitored in motor such as the induction motor machine condition monitoring and fault analysis for motor is due to a simple construction low cost high efficiency robustness and nearly constant speed operation the induction motor are widely used in industries domestic and commercial applications although induction motor are highly reliable the probability of failure cannot be ruled out reasons such as environment stresses improper installations overloading and supply harmonic may result in a failure of motor the compound such as bearing which are also the the expected life span most of the induction motor failure are due to the motor component which is the bearing rotor stator winding and many more the various fault associated with induction motor are broadly categorized as either electrical or mechanical failure stator winding or defects broken rotor bars air gap eccentricity misalignment and bearing or gearbox failure which is the most common type of failure as stated in figure 2.1 Motion motor faults, which have two, which is the electrical faults and the mechanical faults. The electrical faults will have the stator faults and the rotor faults, while the mechanical faults have the eccentricity faults and bearing faults and the load faults. Thank you. For the important, such failed circumstances are the result of a single aberrant state according into another, 
currently the reading data history will determine when how and which part require repair or replacement consider this if there is no condition monitoring system in a place the maintenance crew will only be notified after the generator or motor has been partially or destroyed as a result the condition monitoring system is a backbone of a safe motor operation reducing process cost in the term of efficiency planning maintenance schedule increase equipment life and saving significant amount in term of process stripping hat for the part of how to measure first of all check the bearing and shaft of the motors we should inspect the bearing on a regular basis since continuing to use a motor with one out bearing might harm the system and impair its effectiveness for the second inspect the motor winding with a multimeter we should examine the windings for wear and tear on regular basis but more significant you should assess their resistance for the third one test the power with the multimeter an electric motor is obviously only as a good as its power supply the multimeter you use in the preceding step may be used to test the power supply for the fourth one ensure the fan is in a good shape and secure to many individual neglect to examine and repair the fan of their electric motor the fan is critical to the perform of your motor because it keep it cool so it can run for extend period of time okay last but not least conclusion as a conclusion the use of condition monitoring allows maintenance or other measures to be performed to prevent defects and failure maintenance of the machine prior to breakdown uh, machine ma maintenance prediction early monitoring of machine status and prediction of failure is very helpful to the industry to save the cost that expenses to the maintenance team and it is also save the machine from the defects and failures thank you